I'm gonna show you one game that I'm gonna review. Sonungook versus Sumire. Yeah, this is Sumire. Today she was playing against Sonungook. Sonungook is Korean professional player. He's about 60 years old and Sumire is only 10 years old. So like 50 years differences. And Sumire, as many people know, she is a pro. She became a pro when she was 9 years old last year in Japan. So she's like genius. Go prodigy. Uh, future in Japanese go world and actually in the world also so she's like basically she's just genius so this game is Sumire's Oro Challenge so that means Sumire is gonna play against four Korean professional players each professional player she's gonna play three games no matter she wins or lose she still you know is gonna play three games and against this Sonungook she also played three games and I picked the second game which I think the most fun game yeah Sonungook Sonungook actually he has lots of fans in Korea because he is his nickname is uh, Sonogong Sonogong is one of famous kind of monkey character I don't know how to call it in English but there is very famous story about monkey Super monkey, super monkey. And he plays so, so, so fast. I think he's the f player who plays the fastest among whole pro in the world. He really plays fast. Like every three seconds, like AI. <laughs> Human AI. So Sumire is gonna play against Sabongsu and Jung Yujin next week, next, next week. Oh, she's so cute. You know, she looks so cute and she's very young, but she plays, you know, so well. Ah, it's awesome. She's very gifted. Yeah, they played. So today I'm going to show their game from now. Are you ready, guys? So time limit is 10 minutes plus 40 seconds. Byoyomi three times. Uh, first game, Sumire lost, and this is second game, and Sumire is black. And Sumire, her style is very like, um, she really loves fighting. You will see how much she loves fighting in this game. Okay, so, so far peaceful and Sonungook pincer like that. And this is Sonungook's favorite pincer. And Sumire just occupy the side and then attach. Sumire immediately moved this one stone, Hane and extend and go up. So Sumire say, oh, Sonungook, your one stone is weak here. So how you're gonna do? And Sonungook said, that one stone is nothing I'm gonna give you. So you can take it. You can take it, girl. That's nothing. So Sumire played that one. And actually, in that case, Black can consider just attaching at A or Hane bravely at B. And Sumire chose A. But Sumire should play at B because if Black, if White connects here and this tiger's mouth shape is awesome. And even if white cuts here, after black makes this tiger's mouth, still there is cutting at A. So if white has to connect here, and can still can go back. So A was a little better than A. And here, Sonungo was too cool. And Sonungo just, you know, gave away this one stone. But actually, white could play here. If black cuts, this Atari is very painful. Oh, this is so sad ending for black. So black has to play here. And white is gonna connect here. So as you see, whites are connected and the shape to go through is cool for white. That's why. Mm, that's why white could honey here. 
But Son of Cho is just an easy way to play and just Tendukki. And now you are gonna see Sumire's Baduk style. Just imagine that you are black and where you wanna gonna play? Where where are you gonna play? <laughs> if like if you have flexible goal style and you're gonna think of somewhere B around split and if you really enjoy fighting and you're gonna cut at A you're gonna consider at A and Sumire little girl is very aggressive you know Sumire even if she's young her moves are uh, very fierce without thinking Sumire cuts at A Okay, Sonungook, let's fight. Let's fight with me. You know, my fist is very strong. I'm gonna show you. And Sonungook said, ah, okay, come on, let's fight it. So now they're gonna, they're gonna be huge fighting. Starting from now, Sonungook just answer, extend here. And this Atari sent And why just came out? So as you see, these two stones look so lonely, but now black stone, so it's gonna be fine. So this group is not alive. So fighting started. Attach and cut. This move means that black is gonna play some shapes outside. So this means black is not gonna make something inside. Actually, black is playing for outside. So Sumire is gonna give that one stone and make the shape outside better. So extending here, try to come out. But actually, uh, this Atari was better. Block here. Because even if white cuts here, and black can just capture that one. So, nothing to worry about. But Sumire just saved that Atari and make the black shape stronger. But white got that one. And Hane. This Hane is sente. Tak 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 is sente. So this is sente. And after that, ooh, Sumire is flying towards the center. Yeah, that's a good move because that means A here, B, C, D, E here. Everything is sente. That's why this group and this stone, they are actually kind of connected. Why cannot cut? That's why Sumire can fly a little far. Nice move. Yes, it looks nice move. So Sonungu just came in to break Sumire's shape. Then Sumire defensed. And now uh, white has to play like from here, the direction should be here and attack, but inside uh, White was trying to make some shape, but it was a little slow. And the actual game, it was like, Sumire saved these three stones, but it could be better. Like, this is at the end, like, playing a little more actively and try to go out towards the center. And A, there is still weak points. So the main point here is going out toward the center. Who is going out first? Who is coming here first? That's important point. But Sumire couldn't sacrifice these precious three stones. So she saved it and Sonungu came here. And now I am gonna give you some example. Black can consider going out at A. Or since B is sent the black and Hane here. We can consider this A or C and what is gonna be your choice, guys. I'm gonna show you where Sumire played first. Sumire played A, but no, it was A. Sumire should have played a C because that is really, really huge. If uh, white blocks here, and always black can capture these two stones. That means um, black can fight 
this fighting without any worry. And if white just answer here, black gains so much points by this exchange. That's why there is no reason that to save that one. So now it's really good timing to do that. But Smire is trying to... I want to go out toward the center. She was a little rushing it. Mm. And Sonungook said, Little girl, you cannot go out. I'm gonna... Show you, you know, Korean professional, old professional power. Oh yeah, by the way, do you know Jo Hoon Hyun? Jo Hoon Hyun is Lee Chang Ho's teacher. Lee Chang Ho, you know Lee Chang Ho. Lee Chang Ho's teacher is Jo Hoon Hyun, and Jo Hoon Hyun was at uh, Jo Hoon Hyun took so many titles and in cup. Jo Hoon took ink up before and anyway he was so popular and he was so famous and he was so strong he was number one before and this guy Son Ung-uk Son Ung-uk beat Jo Hoon Hyun few years ago in 2012 and he got title so actually Son Ung-uk is also one of a strong player in Korea Okay, so here we go. And Sonungook Baduk style is also very fierce. He really enjoys fighting and he plays so fast. And he plays so many games, online games, and he's very good at it. Continue. Yeah, after cuts here, yeah, Sumire has to leave inside. But this Hane is so painful. Hitting head of two stones also headache. Even if Sumire captured that four stones, but after white captured that one, as you see, this part is getting so huge. That is too, 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 too big. And now I checked with Katago, percentage is white is 91% for winning rate. Ah, so white, definitely white took uh, initiative. So white is leading. But, Sumire is not gonna lose so easily. Sumire is, you know, a star in Japan. Okay, so now you're gonna see how Sumire resists in this game. Sumire is not gonna lose easily. So she got here, the side. So, catching up, catching up. And... Sonungook is trying to break Sumire's moyo. Yeah, so far, so good. And Atari here, so slowly... So Black is gaining some points and slowly actually attacking, indirectly attacking that group. So like asking, okay, run away and I'm gonna keep my points. And Sonungook said, no, I'm not gonna play so easily. I'm gonna show that move. So I'm gonna break here, then I can win. Which is true. If white breaks that, then white is gonna win for sure. So Sumire Tenuki! Wow, wow, wow. You wanna break here? Okay, I, I'm gonna give you, but then I'm gonna kill these three stones. Then it's gonna be pretty much even. That's what Smire is saying. Okay, then after that, Sonungook didn't care. Okay, just do whatever you want. I'm gonna just break on the right side. Actually, White is doing well. And still is about like 90%. White is ahead. Ha! Ah, Smire is coming here and try to kill that one. But actually, that three stones are considered dead. But here, white got some points and whole points are gone in black's points. So that's why mm, still is difficult time for Sumire, for black. Even if this group is alive, it's a little difficult. And now here is amazing that Sumire next move is very resisting. And for professional player 
who is doing well about uh, turning the table uh, you are losing it and after that you turn the table and you win whoever is good at that thing usually their sense is very good when they are behind how to shake the board and uh, turn the table and Sumire is doing that from now so normal idea is just leaving this group because it looks dangerous you know black is in danger but Sumire was thinking if I leave that thing and white is gonna occupy big 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 places so easily the game is gonna be so easy and I'm gonna lose so easily so I'm not gonna do that that's why Sumire just ignore and capture that one so make sure that these three stones are dead and capturing itself is so big and when black capture here these two stones are also dead so it's like resisting so if you wanna come here and kill me and you kill me and i'm gonna occup i'm gonna invade there and i'm gonna do do or die move and let's see how it goes huh very brave very cool mm, amazing so she got here and Sonungup was a little surprised. Oh, that one? You are not alive? And you are not leaving? Okay, never mind then. I also don't wanna kill you. You are a little girl. I don't wanna attack you. I'll just let you leave. Then Simile say, okay, I'm gonna leave since I got a big point and I'm gonna leave the corner and let's just make this game long so this group is gonna al be alive because this is Sente and this is Sente and this Atari is Sente so after that black is perfectly alive then now what about winning percentage guys you guess how many percentage for black what do you think Sumire turn the table or still far to go what do you think? I'm gonna tell you. Black Sumire has 6%. <laughs> oh no, Sumire, poor girl. Still, still, you are so much behind. Black, as percentage, black is so much behind. But there are some variation still so it's too early to give up because the chance is coming soon for Sumire. Sonungo cuts here and yeah Sumire just can go go back and this is Sente oh yeah that one this move means if you cut me and I'm gonna block here so black is in danger as you see so black cannot do that Black cannot do that and uh, time control is now they are in Biomi. 40 seconds three times Biomi and main time was 10 minutes. So I came out and Sumire just blocked from behind. And now, yeah, why played here but actually it was huge here. That was biggest point. And now white is ahead because if I play here in future, black can come out duck, 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 and can break so many points. So after I play here, Sumire is okay. Let me leave in the corner. But now, you know, go. Many people say go is like life. And now, drama. Drama is starting. Ready to see? Because Sanu is human. That's why psychologically what you are thinking is that this group, it seems that there are some hope that you can leave. So because A is sent there, B is sent there, C is sent there, and this group is not alive. So it seems that I can do something. And now they are in Biomi, so their calculation cannot be so accurate. That's why you gotta make a choice now. That means based on your judgment, you gotta make choice. And if you're a human being, 
since there looks I feeling like there is something that I can do. That's why Sonungok tried to make something there, which actually which was a uh, start of disaster. So now this is Sente. This is Sente and try to leave. But actually if white just capture here and took that one easily, then white is still leading. But he was trying to leave and Sumire with small you know little hand you cannot leave breaking Sonung's eye space. And Sonung said, Oh please just be mercy. You know, I I wanna leave here. And Sumire said, No, no way! You cannot leave any single stone. And actually this move, why this losing many many points by doing this exchange as you see. So now if white cannot make two eyes inside, then black is gonna win this game. But can white make two eyes? Let's see. Sonugu is trying. But Sumire is playing perfectly from now. So actually, after that, Sonungu killed this corner. But what Sonungu did, losing some points only here, and this group is now perfectly dead. Because even if white uh, make one eye here, ah, black can come here and break white's eye. A becomes full eye and just go out and white cannot kill anything. So that means the whole thing here became Sumire's area, territory. Wow, awesome, isn't it? Wow, Sumire. Sumire, you know, succeeded to shake the board and now she killed the whole thing. Sonu was so desperate. Oh, there is nothing that I can do. What did I do? What did I do? I lost so many points. Tak, tak, tak. And Sumire yeah, got the biggest place. <laughs> that one is very cute. That one. <laughs> Sumire was doing... Yeah, I guess it's because be Biomi. But it was looks like kind of testing. So if you play this kind of thing, I'm gonna leave. But of course, Sonungu knows the life and death. Yeah, because it's, it's easy for pro. And then Sumire said, okay, there's nothing, so I just connect. <laughs> okay, then uh, they are doing some, oh yeah, some end game after that. Yeah, this is the actual game. Yeah, Sonungu played here, but Sumire got that one, and just black, uh, white is just dead. Sonungu is trying very hard to make something, but nothing. Sumire was too perfect after that, and Sumire finally got... Yeah, everything here, and they count it, and Sumire won by three and a half points. So Sumire revenged in second game. Yeah, so the review is finished. Uh, this project, Sumire's oral challenge, that Sumire is gonna play against Sobongsu Naindan next week, Friday and Saturday, three games. Yeah, and Sumire is gonna play against Jung Yoo Jin. She's the youngest pro in Korea. And she, she's also very genius. Oh yeah, this girl, this player. Jung Yoo Jin won Dan, she's like now 13 years old or 14 years old. And she just became pro this year. And she just started go only a few years ago and she just became pro. So actually she is quite famous for that like she she learned go only for a few years and she just became pro and i heard her iq is very very high so it's gonna be also fun match uh Sonung won two games and Sumire won one game i hope you enjoyed this review and thank you for watching